using GeoMagic Control X. Today I'm going to be demonstrating the probe and scan to CAD workflow. To do this I'll need to set up a pre-planned inspection that includes a datum alignment, 3D compare, and several 3D, GD, and T dimensions. To start let's add the datum alignment. And for this I'll need to select three surfaces. Select OK. And I'm going to go ahead and hide the datum alignment just to remove some clutter. I'm going to set a 3D compare and all these settings I'm going to leave as the default. Sampling ratio at 100, method as sharp, projection direction as shortest. And likewise here I'm going to leave these all as default. Uh, display option, color map, color averaging right in the middle, show tolerance color, and use specific tolerance. Leave them all the same. And select OK, go to the dimensioning, select 3D, GD, and T. And instead of using all of these dimensions, I'm going to use Smart Dimension and let the software choose which dimension I want. And instead of having it dimension in the center, I'm going to use the Max Bound. So it gets the full length of that slot. Now I want to set a angular dimension. So I'm going to let the software intuitively do that by selecting the two planes here. And now I'm going to select a radial dimension for that hole. That looks pretty good. Now I'm going to add some tolerancing. I'm going to create a datum off of that, off of that hole. I'm going to set a position and let's in this slot. And I'm going to use the datum as a reference. And let's add a flatness to this surface. Now let's go over to the ferro arm and start the probe process. Select the Live Inspection tab, then select Play Live Inspection Process. We will need to align the physical part with the CAD model. To do this, we will use the datum alignment from the pre-planned inspection. To create the alignment, select three points on each surface. Using the red button on the ferro arm, click Next Inspection Features. The process will begin with the first feature measured. Cylindrical faces require seven points to be measured for each surface. Next we will move to the angular measurement. Since the measurement is made up of two planes, you only need three points per plane. Lastly, probe the mounting hole cylinder. Each cylinder needs seven points to be measured. Again, using the red button on the ferro arm, select Switch to Scanning and begin to scan your part. The scan should correctly overlay onto the CAD model.
Using the red button on the ferro arm, select Exit Live Inspection. Once the live inspection is complete, the software will automatically run all of the pre-planned inspection. The user can now add additional measurements or comparisons to the results. Lastly, generate a report that includes all of the pre-planned inspection and additional comparison points. The report displays all of the probe points and its corresponding data, the 3D compare, as well as the additional pick points and its corresponding data, and all measured features. In this presentation, we demonstrated the probe and scan to CAD process. We accomplished it by creating several pre-planned inspection conditions, such as datum alignment, 3D compare, and geometric dimensioning and tolerancing. We then probed the physical part to satisfy the pre-planned conditions and scanned the part using the live inspection process tool. Thank you for using Geomagic Control X.